Welcome back to Agape Intelligence AI 9-Day Intensive. It's your 7th day and boy have we been having fun. And it doesn't end yet. It's important that we understand that with AI, it's something that you use every day. Just like you have to eat every day, you have to take care of your body every day, you have to take care of things around the home every day, you have to take care of your relationships with yourself and other people every day. So in order to have mental wisdoms, We have to be able to be thoughtful and still. And while we're being thoughtful and still, even when a situation is occurring that can be distressful to us, we want to identify the feeling or emotion, determine the trigger of that feeling or emotion, slow down, think, and choose a response, choose a behavior. Now, I want to talk a little bit about some of the more difficult areas that we we go through you know someone's talking to us they're getting loud um, things are going on the the situation is becoming overwhelming for us and I want you to know that there are things that you can say to people that will help them to stop and understand that this is not something you're going to do with them Remember, they don't have AI, so they don't recognize what's going on with their mind, their physical body, their brain, and even sometimes their own behavior. So there are times when we have to revisit a conversation and really let someone know, hey, that's not going to work for me. Self-management plus responding plus understanding that you have a great effect on your environment equals managing the outcome. So it's important for us to bring others back to the point of the conversation if possible. Examine your own feelings and emotion. Feeling unsafe or overwhelmed are cues to end the conversation. Learn when emotions and emotional cues are dictating that the conversation may need to be halted and return to at a more opportune time. Here's some some great um, things for you to be able to use. And you can go back over this video um, and, and go through it. Um, sometimes people tend to react to feeling unsafe by being loud and expressing their feelings. And so something very effective is softening your voice and placing your hands opened or in a steepled um, position. Because remember, if you place your hands open, that automatically, humans read that as they can trust you. They don't even realize it, but they, they read it as they can trust you. Steepling your fingers, humans read that body language as... You're, you are in charge of what's going on in the environment here. And they will automatically respect it. They might not even understand why. This tone and positioning brings the other person closer and tends to help them to listen more intently as well as engendering their trust of you. Expressing your needs is important. Other people can't read your mind, so it's really important that you use tools here in AI because it will help in working to build those healthy, happy communications and relationships. Use the words like I need or I want. Usually I use I need to help others to clearly hear my next words. And remember we talked about letting go of using the word but and using and instead because and ties two thoughts together whereas but tends to eliminate or erase whatever was said before or prior to saying the word but. Handling a difficult conversation 
you, it's really using the tools that we've been talking about. Being able to listen to other people as if we believe they're, they're right and try not to interrupt them. Let them finish what they're saying. The other person has a right to their opinion, driven by their own thoughts and feelings. And the other person's opinion is their reality and not necessarily a fact. You get to end the conversation that is uncomfortable, feels unsafe, or overwhelming for you or the other person. I'm going to give you some more ideas and word choices that you use. They are very effective. People are so amazed when they use them. I need to let you know that I can see that the subject is important and I need to stop the conversation as your tone and choice of expression doesn't feel good to me. Let's talk later when we can both give each other the respectful ear and use a more comfortable tone. Here are a couple of other things you might be able to use. For instance, I need to let you know that when you do blah, 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 I feel whatever. And I need to tell you that this and explain what the behavior they're, they're exhibiting really is. I want to ask you that you respect this boundary or saying something like, tell me the best approach and sharing my concerns with you and I'll do my best to honor your boundaries. I'm sure you can see that the word choices that we're using in AI are very effective. And we have to remember that we really understand now as people who have taken AI that we have the opportunity to stop and think even while the situation is going on. Listen as if you believe you're right, uh, the other person is right. Watch your thoughts and feelings like looking through a window and checking your body language and the body language of the other person, then choosing your response. I'm going to share another one of my acronyms for you because I'm always going, really? For real? So really is respond, use facts, the what, when, who, where. Express your feelings or opinions. Assert, you let the person know what it is that you need. Level with them. Explain the consequences of their behavior. Listen as if, as if you believe the other person is right. And listen to their behavior. And then you. You can only change you. You are the person in control of your own behaviors, your tone, your facial expressions, and responses. Okay, my friends, your challenge today is to look at all of the times that you've used the funny faces. And remember, we're still working on our boundaries and setting them and what we do want as well as what we don't want to have happen and the consequences that go with that. And you know what? There aren't really any problems. Just agape intelligence solutions. See you for your next installment of AI.